today I thought I would challenge myself a little bit and try and recreate someone's makeup look using only their video's audio. So today I'm going to be trying to recreate an eyeshadow look from my friend Nady, and we're going to see how this goes because he's very energetic, very over the top, all over the place. So hopefully this doesn't look like a mess in the end, but let's just jump right into it. Okay guys, so how I feel like this is gonna be easiest for me to do this is I have the video on my phone. I'm not going to watch it. I'm going to literally put it down, but I'm gonna have it turned up all the way so that we can both hear the audio at the same time. And I'm just gonna try my best to follow along. So let's get started. I several colors right here and then cut that and do like a cool cut crease. He's using oh, the blends palette. Let's start by skinny dipping our little asses into serendipity. And I'm taking that okay. with my OMFG cut. I'll take a little fluffy brush, brush like this. That is. But this I'm is serendipity. This and place it right here on the inner part of the eye. <gasps> oh my God. God, that is pigment. Okay, so he's gonna take serendipity, he says, and place it on the inner corner of his eye. I don't know which eye he's doing, so I'm gonna do my right eye. So he says on the inner corner, so we're just going to put it right here and go to town. Okay, actually, I'm gonna take a different brush and go in with serendipity, but I'm just going to try my best to follow along, obviously, and I'm gonna use the colors. I'm going to use the placements that he's using. I don't know exactly what brushes that he is using, so obviously that can make a big difference. I also obviously don't know how far over he's taking everything, but for me, I feel like this is about as far as Nady would take his first color. The hell, fuck me up. There is a little bit of follow, but I think that's because I kind of brushed it with my eyelash because I was so freaking shocked. <laughs> I'll just pay better attention with the other shadows. Okay, so let's blend this out. It goes on Blending. magnificently. It blends yes, out it fabulously. Obviously, it is very, very pigmented. Like, look at that. And then with a clean brush, I'm going to dip into Enigma. I'm going to plop that right Slow down. yellow and slowly blend it in together so it creates a nice smooth transition. I mean, saying that and doing that are two completely different okay. things but this bitch will attempt to. <laughs> okay, so he's going to take a clean brush. I'm going to take one similar in size, and he's dipping into Enigma, which is this darker kind of burnt orange right here. Now, that's not a color I would take as my next one. I'd take a brighter orange, but whatever. Not not my tutorial. So I say he's going to place it right next to the yellow and blend it in. So I'm just going to take it over about another third of the way over to it right there, just in case he does another color. If not, we'll go back in and take it over a bit more. Okay, so I think that's pretty good as far as the blend and how far I want to take it over, so let's continue. Using like super gentle light strokes, let me go back in with that yellow. The only thing that I'm noticing is that when it goes down on that primer, it does kind of want to change colors and turn a bit brownish. I don't know if it's because it's mixing with that yellow, it totally could be. Let me take a little bit of self-love, that beautiful red, and place it right in between that orange and yellow. It might help. Okay, self-love is this red right there, so we're gonna take that. I'm just gonna take another tiny little fluffy brush, and I'm gonna mix it in between, just like Nady does. The transition be a little bit smoother. Ooh, actually, I love the way that looks. Like, in person, you can still see some of the orange. Oh, I love this. And that shit blends out like a damn dream. Okay, so I'm basically taking that red and placing it over the orange, and then I'll probably just smoke that red out with some more of that orange. Just because right. I don't love that color that it turned into with I guess the we're yellow. I guess we're changing it up. Blend this red out with that slightly lighter orange that was next to that burnt orange. I like this so much because you can layer them up very easily without them blending into each other. The only issue that I have is right where that yellow and orange meet. But otherwise, everything looks really good. Oh, and I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm Mine looks good. Of this side with, oh, I don't know, maybe a little bit of BAM. I'm going to take that shade and pop it right here on the outer corner and kind of blend it in with that red. Let's go nice one. Look at that. Kay. We have a pretty little sunset. Okay, vamp. Gosh, slow down. Vamp is this purple right here, which is one of my favorite colors in this palette. Again, I'm gonna take a medium fluffy brush, dip into that, and we'll keep blending. Except for right there, it's a little bit of a bruisey sunset, but that's my bad. So far, I feel comfortable saying that probably anybody from beginner to pro could use this palette, but you might wanna know a little bit about color theory because some colors really aren't gonna mix. Correct. So now, before I cut the crease, I think I'm gonna pack on a little bit of Submerge, and I'm gonna- Hold on, we gotta finish this blend. I think I'm gonna pack on a little bit of Submerge, Merge, and I'm going to okay. kind of create a faux cut crease before I do the real cut crease just so that there's a nice dark color right above the concealer. And because this way I can use as many of these colors as possible. Also, I look like Lady Gaga's album artwork for like applause. 
her applause. Okay, <laughs> so where's he putting it? Oh, I'm sitting in the other corner. Do we have? Let's take it about halfway into the eye, and then I'll transition into something darker. But also, a huge thing to mention, I did not put any powder underneath my eyes to catch any fallout, and look how clean that bastard is. Very. Other than where I accidentally brushed that yellow onto my eyelash, there is no <laughs> fallout. Okay, so I don't know how far he's taking it over, but I took submerged, I switched my brush, and I packed it on where we would normally start the cut crease, because he said... He wants a little bit of the blue to show up before we actually cut the crease. Hopefully this is good enough. I can't imagine him taking it further than that, but I guess let's listen to what he does next. No, I've already used like 18 brushes. Bellbound, the nice okay. deep dark Spellbound's color. a dark blue. You know, this this is... it deep. I'm just gonna kind of blend it right into that turquoise color and bring okay. it down to the outer corner. Ooh, okay. that's a really, really nice blue. It doesn't seem patchy, which is kind of weird for blues. A lot of blues are patchy just because they're kind of difficult to formulate. And there we go. I don't know what you see. It does need cleaned up a little bit. We'll get there. Don't judge me now. But I'm still able to see every freaking color that I put down. This is like 800 colors. Orange, I would never do this. The pink, the turquoise, the blue. Like that shit is all still there. So now let's do what we always do and cover everything up. Okay, so Nady is going to cut his crease now. So I'm going to cut my crease with my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eyeshadow Base. So I'm just going to take it where I normally would and I'm just going to take it all the way over. But I also want to test okay. more of these colors. So I agree. Let's it looks better. So let's into cream and sugar. Okay. And I'm going to place that right here on the inner part of the eye to really highlight it. Or at least attempt to. This one does seem a little bit pilly. It's definitely not quite as good as the other shadows were. But I think if I build it up and really pack it on, we'll be fine. Oh, yeah. She just needs a few layers. And then she's banging. I don't know if you can even tell where I put it because everything is pretty light. But I placed it right about there. Okay, so you can see where I put the white. It's not like crazy or anything, but it just brightens a little bit. Next, okay, what's I'm gonna next? I'm going to go into Wildflower, and we'll start bringing that right up the crease line. I am kind of expecting this one to change colors because it is going directly onto something slightly moist. I mean, it's dry for the most part, but unless a matte goes onto something that's like dry as a boner. Wait, no, dry as a bone. Anyways, I'm curious to see if this will at all change, which it's not really changing too much. It's laying down pretty nicely, but it is kind of wanting to turn a little bit green because yep, that base that I put down. Okay, next. I'm going to go over that with a bit of Remedy. That blue. Blends in with that yellow so pretty. And then right on the outer corner, so I'm going to finish up with a bit more of that deep blue spellbound. Spellbound. Beans, okay. man. Then Okay. okay, so I'm going to take this and we're going to go in with Remedy, which is this green right here. And then we're going to follow up with Spellbound, which again is that dark blue that we used a little bit of earlier. So we're going to take Remedy and place it over the yellow on the outer corner. Oh, I love this color. All the way to the top and just kind of blend it into that yellowish green, the wildflower color. I don't know. I'm just not a fan, personally, of using this many colors. Like, I understand it's a palette review, and typically you want to use a bunch of colors, but I just still feel like, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of this many colors. I feel like it starts getting really, really messy because you're trying to use 8,000 colors, and it just doesn't look good, in my opinion. But also, maybe if I could actually see the technique being used and the placements, it might look better. So I guess that's kind of what the challenge of this video is. Okay, so I have the yellow and the green on there. The outer edge is blended out a bit more than I would want, but whatever. So now we're gonna switch that around, dip into Spellbound, which is that darker blue, and tap that on the outer corner. Take it all the way up and blend it in with that green. Okay, I think that lid is kind of pretty. The lid's kind of pretty. It's cause, I don't know, it's a little bit patchy for me just cause the base is super wet. I'm gonna do what Mr. Nady says to do. I want to dip back into Submerged, that gorgeous teal, and I'm going to start by packing it right up close to the lashes, and then right below that, I'm going to blend it out with some, ooh, I don't know, do we want bubble bath or dream, eeny, meeny, miny, ho, ah, let's do this one. <gasps> oh, fuck, that is nice. How am I supposed to know what it is? The name blend for this palette is perfect, because this shit really does blend. And yeah, fuck, let's also take a little bit of bubble bath, and I'm going to jet. Okay, so I guess we're going to take Submerged and then bubble bath. Okay, I'm going to wipe that brush off, and then we're going to dip into Bubble Bath, and he blends it out underneath that. Which, I like this color combination. Hello, this eyeshadow palette threw up on my eye. This side alone, I'll finish up with liner and lashes and all that jizzy jazz later, and let's move on to this side. Okay, this side. okay so he said he threw on a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner, which I have right here. I don't know what color, so I'm just going to go with blue, because I feel like that's what he would do. So I'm just going to take this lighter blue and just run it along my waterline. Okay, so Nady said he's going to do liner, lashes, and all that jazz later, so we're moving on to the other eye. 
to, I don't know. Okay. Let's dip into first kiss right here. And I'm gonna place that right in the crease line and blend it back and forth. Oh my God, that blends out and goes on so nicely. Let's create a nice slow glam smoky eye. So let's dip into self love and a little bit below that shade that I just put. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna blend this in a little crazy crease. So I'm just gonna take it all the way around. Hopefully this eye is faster and seven shades less <laughs> than the other eye. I do like video concepts like this because it makes you do things you normally wouldn't do. I'm just excited to see what the end result is in general and see how closely it matches what his looks are. So I'm gonna take this, keep it nice and pigmented yet blended. So let me just blend, 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 blend. Let's create a nice slow glam smoky eye. So let's Shall dip we? into self love. And a little bit below that shade that I just put down, let's blend that out. These shadows really do blend as nicely as everyone says. Like I've used this palette a million times. It's fantastic. Like the name is so fitting, but like you can just see, how, look how nice that is. It's very soft, very nice. And you can tell that the blending almost like does its job without you having to do it. Like it does it on its own. Okay, that blend is stunning. It's a great start to this side. Keep it going. Shadows do all the fucking work for you. You just place it there, go back and forth, Literally. and it's blended out instantly. Oh, God, that's okay. nice. And Next. I know, I did put on that brownish tan shade, but I think I want to blend this red out with some of Sunset. So I'll just take that right around the edges of that red. Oh, my God, that goes... Okay, so Sunset is this pink shade right here. So I'm just going to take that first fluffy brush, just dip into it, because why not, and just blend it out a little bit more. Man, these shadows, they really, really do. They blend like a dream. I'm just obsessed. Like, it's hard for me to choose other eyeshadow palettes when I know this one's sitting right in front of me all the time. Because, like, this palette is unmatched. Look at that blend. That's perfection. So then right on the outer corner, I'm going to take some Vexed. And I'm going to start by packing it right there and then sweeping it towards the center of the eye. And that is a deep shadow, but I... Okay, so we're taking Vex, which is kind of this blood red right there, and we are going to take it from the outer corner, and we are going to sweep it towards the inner corner, he said. So starting the outer corner right here, let's just take it, blend it in, which I blend like this on the outer corner anyway. I like the intensity and the depth and the dimension that I get from it. And then we're going to start sweeping it towards the inner corner. Now that is stunning. Like, do you see how quickly that just takes it up a notch? It adds another color. It has that depth and that dimension that we all love. That's stunning. Like, I would throw a shimmer on this, typically, and just call it a day. I do kind of wish it were the slightest bit deeper, just so that there was more of a dramatic effect. But Not still, me. the three of those shadows together look great. I do want it slightly darker, though, and I'm really curious about depth. It didn't swatch the best, so I want to see how it works on the eye. Oh, fuck. That performs so much better than how it swatched. That is a great So brown. I'm assuming he just and that, my little sex kit, puts it in? exactly why swatches really don't mean jack shit. Okay, I think I did like this look better before the brown, but I was really curious about about it, so we just had to use oh, it. Oh, we have to still, use it. This turned out a very easy, simple, quick. I'll look. just be light handed. Just... Okay, so he doesn't love the brown, but like we have to do the brown. So I'm just gonna be very light handed about it. That way I'm still applying it, but like not crazy. But I get his point though. He wanted something to deepen it up, and this definitely does deepen it up. But I'm gonna take that red that we just used just to make sure everything is nice and blended, of course. You gotta keep the blend, duh. Okay, Nady, I'm sorry, I know we're BFFs, but like, I have to disagree with you. Like, I think that brown is stunning and I think it really did exactly what you kind of wanted. Like, I don't know what it looks on you yet, but like, this is stunning. Like, this is stunning. Like, I have not done a color combo like this, just the way you do the browns and the reds. So like, thank you for teaching me something new. Then for the lower okay. lash, I'm gonna lower take lash. that deep what about the lid? and place it right in between oh the gosh. lashes. Which I'm then gonna blend out with that beautiful pop in red right next to it, okay. self-love. And then Okay, so he's gonna, I don't know if he's coming back to the lid or not, or maybe that's just what we're doing, but like, I guess we'll find out. So he's going to do a vexed on the lower lash line followed by self-love. So let's do that. Where's my mirror? I always lose everything because I'm a professional. So let's take this on our lower lash line. Okay, now we're blending it out with self-love. Hello, Gorge. Look, look how completely different these looks are. It's crazy. I'm just really hoping that lashes just like bring it all together. Like, I'm not a fan of this. It's just so much color all at once. And I love color. This is like <clears throat> color. Then on the water line, I mix color pops, a joyride, and good reef. And on okay. the inner part of the eye, I'm going to place a little bit of pop look sex life. Which, okay. thank you all so much for your pay. Okay, so for the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner on the waterline, I don't have either of those shades, but I believe that it is a burgundy and like a, a nude. So I think we're just gonna go with the nude. And then for the lid, he's using one of his own products and I think it's like a rose gold. So I'm gonna try and find something similar to that. Okay, so I'm taking Honey Dude. I'm just going to put this on my waterline. Okay, and then for the lid, I'm going to take this color right here from my Makeup Geek Color Matrix palette because I feel like that's pretty similar 
to what he's talking about. I hope. I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pretty proud if this is like pretty similar. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush like this and just pack it on. He said the inner part, so like right here. Ooh, so pretty. Ah, oh, such a beautiful color. And here we are with both of our whoa, 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 whoa. looks. Okay, hold on, like hold on, them. hold on. Okay, so he's not gonna show his mascara and lashes just fine. I don't usually either. So real quick off camera, I'm gonna throw this on and be right back. Okay guys, so this is the final look all complete. Obviously we have two very, very different looks using the iconic blends palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. So this video is actually pretty fun for me, but like stressful at the same time. So I'm excited to see if I actually got pretty close to what Nady created, so let's see. And okay, so. On now for maybe two or three hours in this that's similar. Fabulously. So how do I feel about this little bad bunny? Wait, isn't that somebody? God. Okay, so looking at the look overall, I think I nailed it for the most part. So he definitely took the blue on the bottom a bit further down. The lid over here, I think is a bit, obviously much better than mine. I like the colors on the lid, but the way he has them blended is a lot better and makes more sense. Again, I couldn't see what brushes he was using or where exactly he was laying everything out, but I think it's pretty similar. All the colors are there. You definitely see a lot more orange at the top of his look than mine. Um, on the red side, I think it's pretty spot on. The shimmer on my side is definitely much more noticeable and just more solid, whereas his looks a bit more blended into his reds. This is just how I prefer to do them at least. Again, the red on his lower lash line is taken down a bit further than mine, but overall, I think it's pretty dang similar. I'm actually pretty proud of this. But yeah, this video is actually a lot of fun to do. I think it was a success overall. I would like to know what you think. But yeah, thank you so much, Nady, for letting me borrow one of your videos for my video. I really appreciate you, your friendship and how amazing you are. So again, everybody, please make sure you go follow Nady. I will have all of his YouTube channel information and social media links all in my description box. So go give him a subscribe, go give him a follow, binge his content. You'll be happy you did. But that's all I have for you guys today. Please make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Click that big red subscribe button so you can join my YouTube family. Turn on my video post notifications by clicking that bell icon and switching it to all. And I thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I hope you have the day you deserve.